we are beginning a new sermon series on relationships, and uh, Lane's going to be coming up in a moment, but he asked if, uh, if I could share a little bit, but in, in preparation for uh, this message and for the sermon series, I actually asked my wife Cindy to write down some of her thoughts about relationships, and they were so good, you know, my wife's brilliant, you know, so that I asked her if she'd come up and share some of those thoughts herself. Thank you, dear. Yeah, but before we do that, there's something that we need to take care of. This. <laughs> Toothpaste. Toothpaste. All right. What, you you know about? how hard it is for me to get all of the children ready for church in the morning by myself. So the last thing that I want to do is spend a lot of time in the bathroom on myself, right? Because there's so many other people that need help, hair and everything. So yes, I dear. went in the bathroom to brush my teeth, and I found that. You know that I prefer that the tube is rolled very carefully from the end so that none of it is wasted and it doesn't make a mess. Well, I prefer to just squeeze the stinking tube of toothpaste and get the toothpaste out so I can brush my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but do you know what that does to the bathroom? It leaves a huge mess. There were globs of toothpaste all over, and I had to clean it all off the end of that just so that I could bring it here today. And besides that, I just want you to know that I prefer that in the bathroom, you lower the lid so that I don't up, end up with a wet backside. Oh my word. Well, I just prefer to do my business. Thank you very much. And I'm going to get back to ESPN or the newspaper when I come home from work. Okay, then that's another thing. I would prefer that you spend less time in front of the TV and more time helping around the house. Yeah, that's right. You listen to me. Thanks a lot. Well, I think you need to understand here that I prefer to come home from a long day at work. I mean, my boss is driving me crazy. <laughs> and relax a little while before dinner. I mean, ESPN helps me to do that. And, you know, my boys, I've got four boys that like the NFL now. I mean, we know that, right? And, and they just, they prefer, I prefer talking with them about sports and stuff because instead of coming home right away and vacuuming and dusting and putting the dishes away. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, thank you. Am I well, on? I prefer to have a clean house because it is you who always tells people, oh, just drop by, the door's always open. <laughs> and you don't take any time to think about what the house might look like when these people show up. Well, that's, pref that's because I prefer to have an open home. You know, one that's inviting, where, where people can feel at home. I mean, how many kids stayed at, my, at our house last night? Who, who are they? There they are. Put your hands up. Yeah. yeah a bunch of them. I mean, I don't, they were up at 3.30. I heard them. I heard them. You know? And, and so that's the way my mom ran her house. Just people could come over when they want, and it would be a good thing. Oh, your mom. Well, then let's talk about my mom, because my mom kept her house spick and span. Oh, I mean, there, you know, there still isn't any dust. You go there, and you can still see the vacuum lines in the carpet, right? If we wanted to go on vacation, we had to clean the house first, even though it was going to sit empty for a week. And collect dust and then clean it when we get back. Right? Yes, so I prefer to have a clean house, which brings up something else. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to keep this house clean if you aren't going to buy us a new vacuum cleaner. Oh, well, that's because I would prefer to just fix the one that we have and not spend new money for a new one. Just give me a, give me a chance to look at the old one first, all right? I give you one week, and if that vacuum cleaner is not clean in one week, I'm calling my dad, because he will come fix it right away, and he will fix it the right way, the way you know, I you know, prefer it. You know, wait, why don't you just go out and buy a new one? I prefer to just have you take care of it on your own. Why do I have to do all the running and all the errands, you know? Because I prefer to stay home and parent the children. <laughs> Well, if we didn't have so many children, it wouldn't be such a <laughs> You know, I, I always said that I would have preferred to have a nice small family like everybody else. Okay. Yeah, that right, Mariana? Mm -hmm. Yes. But you know that I prefer to have a house full. And we aren't even close to a dozen yet. <laughs> Kids in today's day. You know, I prefer that we have, you know, 
we have some margin for extra expenses, like you know, like going out to eat once in a while, going on vacation for crying out loud. You know, and how are we going to pay for college? I mean, where's Andrew? Where is he? He left. He left. He left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to college next year. How are we going to afford that, dear? dear? Maybe if you remember to write everything down in the checkbook the way I prefer it to be done and stuck to the budget, we would know exactly where we stand. That's, well, you know, I would prefer to not have to write down every 75 cent newspaper and dollar soda that I buy. For okay, maybe we can forget about the sodas and the newspapers, that's fine. But, you know, all those other things you bring home, all those collections of things that are just collecting dust in the oh, attic? collections, shall we talk about collections? How about your collections of books? Guys, every, every room in our house has, has books in them. I mean, every Kids, room. Kids, books, they're important, right? Yes. Well, but, Cindy, this isn't going in the direction that um, we'd really planned. You know, you were supposed to be sharing your ideas about relationships. Um, right. How in God, how God intended all of us to get along. So why don't we just kiss up, kiss and make up, and go uh, we'll on. Uh, kiss and make up in public. You know that I prefer not to show any signs of affection, especially in public. Oh dear. And um, I'm the direct opposite. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, we've been on every subject except sex. Oh dear. Why don't we talk about this a little bit, you know? If we're going to dredge up all kinds of disagreements, why are we avoiding this subject, dear? Because I wrote this little skit, and I don't talk about things like that. <laughs>